Proverbs 28 and 4, they that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Yep. Okay. So if you forsake the law, you forsake the righteous, Yabash Mashai, you're ultimately praising the ways of wickedness. And if you do that, then that makes you an enemy of the Lord. The Lord will fight against you. James 4 and 4. He that is a friend of the world is an enemy of the Most High, man. Okay. That says what? Such as keep the law, contend with them, man. So it's a, this, this is a this is a fight, man. Okay. And you don't want your house shot to come back and fight against you. That's why you gotta finish this. Okay. You gotta count the cost in this truth. Scripture speak about counting the cost. You know, lest they're gonna mock him and say this man was not able to finish, you know, building. Okay. Or he said, you know, go off to war and see that he has less troops than the next army, you know, and then he sends ambassadors of peace, you know. So if you're gonna if you're gonna go to war, then you gotta make sure you're willing to you you're willing to take it there in righteousness, of course, you know. All right, strive for the truth unto death, man. Okay, we gotta pay our vows to Yahweh Bashmel Shah. Speaking to myself first and foremost, you know. This is at 1st Maccabees 4 and 16. This done, Judas returned again with his host from pursuing them and said to the people, Be not greedy of the spoil, inasmuch as there is a battle before us. Okay? Right. You know? And Gorgias and his host, and here by us in the mountain, but stand ye now against our enemies and overcome them. And after this, ye may boldly take the spoils. Right. So that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do, man. Okay? You have to bind the strong man first, as the scriptures say. You know, Judas was in the right spirit. He said, look, don't, don't worry about the spoils right now. Finish the war first. Okay? You still got Gorgias and our enemies out here. You know, overcome them. Okay? Which is such a beautiful selection of words. Because what do you, how should I say? All right, Revelation uh, 21 and 7, he that overcometh shall inherit all things, man. So if you overcome, then you're going to inherit all things. Then you're going to inherit the kingdom, you know, and the reward, okay? It says, and I will be his power and he shall be my son, okay? Right. The Lord is adopting us through Yahweh Shai as the sons of God, man, okay? Revelation 2 and 25, but that which you have already, hold fast till I come. So we have to hold fast to the truth. Okay, we cannot let this truth go. You know, scripture speak about wisdom. When thou hast gotten hold of her, let her not go. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay, it says, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Right. So if you want to receive the spoils of your enemies, okay, guess what? You have to overcome to the end. All right. That's how Esau feels. With his agenda, all right, he thinks that he's gonna take the world by spoil and strengthen himself in his wickedness, but the Lord's gonna frustrate their enterprise, man. All right, and when they think that they're about to establish it, because Esau's contending for that left hand blessing, you know, which really is a curse, but nonetheless, he's 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 contending for it, you know. He's contending for it to 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 the death, man. All right, so when the Lord sets it up, what is he going to do? He's going to rain the nuclear missiles upon them, man. You know, when you try to set up your one world order, all right, he's going to rain those nuclear missiles upon you. It says, verse 27, and the real new world order, the real one world agenda is Yahweh Shai's kingdom, man. Okay, because all the earth is going to know the name of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. All right. It says, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Yeah, that's what's coming to you devils, man. A rod of iron. It says, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. All right, so we're gonna, so the Yahweh is gonna put the spirit on Israel to break them down. All right, as a potter, you know, you you know, you have a rod of iron. Imagine you have a rod of iron, and then you got like some pottery, okay, like a ceramic bowl or a clay bowl. All right, and you just smash that thing, man, and it just smashes into pieces. Well, that's what the scripture is talking about. What's going to be applied to the heathen in the kingdom. All right. In the kingdom of heaven, which will be on earth. 
All right, the heathen will be in subjection to the nation of Israel, and Yahweh Bashmashai will subdue them under us, man. Okay, Yahweh Bashmashai right, does always be part of that elect number. All right. So he said, even as I received of my father. So Yahushua said, look, that I've been given this reward from my father. And you can link this up with Psalms, the second chapter. Okay. So we have to, we have to, uh, you know, serve Yahweh Mashiach and finish this course, man. Okay. This is uh, Luke 8 and 18. It says, take heed, therefore, how ye hear for whosoever have to him shall be given. All right, so if you have this truth and you endure to the end, you're going to be given more abundance. Okay, Yahushua said that the thief cometh not but to steal, to destroy, to kill, from roughly paraphrasing, but I am come to give life more abundantly, roughly paraphrasing. So it says, and whosoever have not, meaning if you don't have this truth or if you lose the truth so that you don't have it anymore, from him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. Right, so, you know, the stuff that you already do possess in this world, all that's going to be stripped from you, man. All right, if you lose this truth or if you don't retain this truth, okay? But if you hold on to this truth to the end, you're going to get even more things, man, okay? You know, going back to that parable with the servant who hid his talent, and the Lord took his talent and gave it to the servant who had five talents, man, okay? You know? So we got to finish this fight so that we may obtain. Just like uh, Judas said, you know? Overcome your enemies, then you can boldly come upon the swells, man. All right. And Yahweh Bashmashai will give us great boldness when we fear Him, and we do that which is pleasing in His sight. Second Timothy four and seven: I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous Judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love His appearing. Okay. So we have to fight a good fight, man. Okay? We have to keep the faith of Yahweh Bashmel Shah. All right? We have to finish our course so that we can receive our crown. All right? Finish this battle. This is uh, Mark 3 and 27. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Okay? So... Yeah, you, you can't expect to just, you know, come up in a strong man's house and just take his spoils, okay? Because that strong man is going to, you know, withstand you. He's going to he's gonna try to resist you, all right? But if you bind him, you know, if you overcome him, you tie him up, okay? Then you could uh, come upon his spoils, you know? So you got to you gotta finish this war, okay? This spiritual war, of course, because it's a battle for our spirits, man. It's a battle for our faith, for us to keep the faith. Satan wants to sift us out of the faith, man. Okay? Sift us as we. All right? But Yahweh said he prayed for Peter that his faith failed not, man. And Yahweh also prayed for us as well. Yahweh said, we be of the elect. John 17. Okay? That, uh, you know, the Lord, that the Lord doesn't take us from the world, but that he keeps us from the evil, man. Okay? And that's imperative, man. Okay, we need to be kept from the peril and the danger of this world, man. All right? But, um, I believe that's all the precepts I had through the Spirit. I'm going to go ahead and read this last one, Lord willing. Okay? Because I know I might have quoted it earlier, but I want to read it. This is uh, Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashai and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Okay, so if we seek the Lord's kingdom first, if we seek wisdom first, okay, you know, everything else will be added unto us. <laughs> okay. So we have to seek the kingdom first, man. That way we, we may inherit all things. All right, but Lord willing, viewers, if I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, Bashem El Double honors to the Apostle, I was great, Muslim, and Ruel. Peace and blessings to you, like to Israel, Shalom, and above all.